you guys picked five fan-made Omnitrixes from the vast Ben 10 multiverse, and today we'll be putting them against every major villain from the classic series. And this pick of these five fan Omnitrixes was delivered by Joel1245. And here's a rundown of the Omnitrixes you guys chose. Firstly, the Chaketrix. This watch was created by the legendary Trix the Alien, and instead of giving Ben transformations, it spawns the aliens like Pokemon. And they're all pretty much in love with Ben Tennyson. The Charney Trix, created by Jirarkin, also does a similar thing. But these aliens are feral and almost masochistic girls that want a piece of Ben. Maybe too many pieces. The Soul Trix. Made by ZT Teen on Twitter, this watch makes the DNA samples alive within the Omnitrix and Ben borrows their powers to varying degrees. And did I mention that he could talk to the aliens as well? The Alter Trix, created by Azur Jex, this is a watch that had Ben's aliens altered because of a failure in the watch's programming giving the opposite qualities to their original counterparts. The Reverse Tricks, created by the Idiot Animator. That's his name, I didn't make that up. This is a watch that reverses the qualities of the aliens. An example being making forearms weak arms. He doesn't have the classic strength of a Tetraman, but that is supplemented by his advanced intelligence. Now that we've gotten into the basics, let's discuss the villains these guys will be facing. The Calamari Conqueror, Vilgax. He is a Chimera Sui Generis from Vilgaxia as we already know as he is one of Ben's strongest villains. Kevin Eleven is a mutant kid who absorbed the Omnitrix's power, possessing a combo of all alien strength along with a strong hatred for Ben Tennyson. Ghost Freak, the escaped Ectonurai whose thirst for world domination is only matched by his resentment for the Tennysons. And lastly, the Forever Knights, which include Enoch and the Forever King. These command a vast organization of noble, alien-hating knights who are all equipped with high-tech alien weaponry. Now that we've done our overview, we'll be keeping score of these villains' wins and Omnitrix wins and we'll display all of that at the end of the video. Stick around for that. So let's square up with the Chaketrix. Now Ben wouldn't be able to transform into aliens. He would therefore spawn his aliens instead, having the aliens battle as a separate entity against Vilgax. But it leaves him completely vulnerable. And one thing about classic Vilgax is that he will go for the kill once he sees the opportunity. We get to see him do this when he just goes in for the timeout sequence in both occasions when he shows up to fight Ben. Which really demonstrates that he does not care about having some sort of honorable battle. The Charney Tricks might have a better chance against him, since even though the watch has the same gimmick, they are a lot more bloodthirsty and seem to be a bit stronger than the Chaki Tricks itself. I would personally love to see that Heat Blast vs Vilgax matchup or even the Stinkfly vs Vilgax rematch. And I mean, come on, it's pretty much a Stink Scorpion. I'd love to see it fight. The Soul Tricks feels like it's an instant loss with the fact that he is 50% human and 50% Pyronite DNA. Now, if we saw the Heat Bass matchup before, you can tell that he will stand no chance even if he accesses Titan Form, which is the strongest mode that the Soul Tricks has, I don't see him flooring the Squid Feed. Now, the Reverse Tricks has some very interesting DNA samples that are juxtaposed to what the original watch is like. Weak Arms, which is Four Arms' counterpart, stands no chance against Vilgax. But on the other hand, High Matter, holy moly man, he would put up a really good fight. He reminds me a lot of Dark Matter, as he has the strength of a Tetraman and the intelligence of probably Blue Kick and Dreba. But Water Blast though, if Ben's mastery over the power of water is anywhere near his fire controlling counterpart, Vilgax is going to absolutely love it. And really it ain't getting sweet there. So the Altitrix pretty much is like that one corrupted picture that you have in your gallery that you took with your phone camera and you have no idea how it got there. The alien species failures are basically new aliens and I mean if we're talking about secrets episode matchup, I honestly have no idea how Vilgax wins. If he has to face the Carbonator, it's pretty much good game well played as this guy is a corrupted Petrosapien that has powers like a bootleg Metamorpho. 
being able to turn into gas that is either flammable or can conduct electricity. And last time I checked, if carbon builds up in your blood, you are going to the game over screen. And not to mention this bad boy, Geyser, who isn't as agile as Primetime Heat Blast, but he throws hands like the Hulk and blows up his foes like his name is Heatran. So Vilgax versus the Fan Omnitrixes, he has two wins and three losses. Moving on to Kevin Eleven, the rejected X Men. X Man? I don't know. So the Chakitrix wouldn't be able to stand a chance simply because this guy is able to solo forearms once he got the 10 part mutation going. He would also definitely just fly right past anything summoned and go straight for Ben. So I would count that as a Chakitrix L since it most definitely lacks the power to stop him. But the Charnitrix on the other hand might stand a significantly better chance because of how bloodthirsty these guys are. Forearms on Kevin matchup would not go down that easily. Even the Stinkfly sample is not at all fodder to fight. So it will indeed be a great challenge for Kevin. But the real question is not whether he would beat them, but would he be able to get to Ben through them? Now considering that these aliens actually cause Ben physical harm, especially in his young age, I'm looking at you Ultra T, it would definitely be problematic because Ben is essentially rolling the dice on these girls, whether these girls want to smother him or protect him. And with the scars that we've seen on the art pieces of Ben, the win obviously would have to go to Kevin. The Soul Tricks now only makes sense to beat Kevin if he's in his Titan mode, which seems to be the form that goes even beyond a regular transformation. This would be a huge buff that could be able to match Kevin and give him the works, but the fact that I personally don't really know much about the Titan form, it's a bit up in the air, but I would give the Soul Tricks this win. The Reverse Tricks would most likely take an L, since it doesn't have any additional power advantages over the regular Omni Tricks, and even though Ben was able to beat Kevin with Cannonbolt, I don't see this block version of Cannonbolt beating anyone outside of a Minecraft game. Lastly is the Alter Tricks. Now if I was to go with some of the more basic matchups with Ben vs Kevin, we would be able to put 4 paths versus Kevin 11, and in all honesty, it would be a wash and four paths having psychic powers and basically category future sight there's pretty much no way kevin would win so it's three points up for kevin with only two losses moving on to the walking horror movie ghost freak now i'm gonna be honest when ben is using the chaki tricks or the charny tricks he is vulnerable 90 percent of the time even if he gets to take on an Ectonurite versus Ectonurite battle, for both of these watches, Ghost Freak would literally just go for Ben any means necessary. So it sounds like an instant 2-0 start for Ghost Freak. On the side of the Soul Tricks, I don't think it would be so easy actually, because his Ghost Freak has mana abilities, and I mean that opens a door to endless possibilities. Especially if he can just make a spell that can create light, it can definitely work in Ben's favor, giving him the W. The reverse tricks and the outer tricks though, I put on a similar playing field, since both have similar premises and as long as the transformations are what protect Ben from being possessed, they should both be fine. And I would love to see how well Aliens Light, 8RLX, and High Matter take on Ghost Freak, or the Anur Trio, or even how much of a fight Ghost Freak would be able to put up against Ultra M from the Alter Tricks. So, I give Ghost Freak 2 wins out of the 5 Omnitrixes. Finally, we have the Forever Knights, and we're talking about the Forever King and Enoch. Now these guys are a pretty cutthroat bunch and they are not scared of jumping Ben with immensely large numbers, and especially when he least expects it. Both the Chakitrix and the Charnitrix don't stand a chance since Ben would not even get the opportunity to use the watch to summon anything. And if the Forever King actually pulls up with the negative 10, I definitely think he'll be overwhelmed. The Soul Trix has a similar fate as I don't see Ben overpowering the forces of either Enoch or the Forever King, unless he has full control of the Titan form itself. The Reverse Tricks 
falls into a similar category of being potentially overwhelmed by those numbers, like Classic Ben has been. So I definitely don't think it could stand proud against the Forever Knights. But the Alter Tricks though. It has so many different crowd control aliens with wide area splash damage that really doesn't matter how many Forever Knights show up as Ben could nuke them or carbon them. He would massacre them, pretty much, is what I'm saying. So that puts the Forever Knights at 4 Omnitrix wins and only 1 loss. And with that, we've come to the end of this Fan Omnitrix vs Classic Villains video. Here's our scoreboard to see which Omnitrix took the most wins today. And if you want to learn more about other Fan Omnitrixes, click this video here.